Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Melanade Beauty. For our first DIY, we're going to be making a cat scratcher using this road cone from the dollar store. First, I'm going to spray paint it with this Rust-Oleum camouflage spray paint so that way we won't see any of the orange color peeking through. Once the cone is completely dry, I'm going to use this nautical jute rope from the dollar store and hot glue it around the entire cone. Once I get to the center of the cone, I'm going to change up fabric material just so it can have some variety. And I'm using this jute rope and I just unraveled it so it can just be like stringy yarn. And I just hot glued that in the center. And then I'm going to repeat the process and continue with the jute rope to the top. To finish off this cat scratcher, I just covered the base with the jute rope as well. You also have the option to use the existing holes to drill to a wooden base if you are planning to build a full cat column. And to finish it off, I just added some wooden beads to hang from the top and sprinkle a little catnip and he loves it. Project number two, we're going to be making some catnip yarn balls using some glue, scissors, these styrofoam balls, some cute yarn from the Dollar Tree, and also the catnip you can find at the Dollar Tree. To start off, I'm going to be covering the styrofoam ball in this glue. Make sure that your glue is non-toxic because you don't want your kitties to get sick. And once that glue is on, I'm just going to sprinkle the catnip all over the ball and get it nice and covered. Next I'm going to be adding a dab of hot glue to start my yarn. And then I'm going to tightly wrap the yarn around the ball until it's completely covered. I'm so glad that Dollar Tree now carries colored yarn that varies in different colors such as this beautiful taupe color and they also have other muted tone colors as well for a neutral home or a boho home. I'm sure there are stores that sell catnip balls like this but the point of this DIY is to create your own custom balls using the colors that coordinate well with your home. Now I really love this color of this muted sage green yarn and to finish off these yarn balls I just add another dab of hot glue and snip the yarn and there you have catnip yarn balls. As you can see, this DIY was Cleo's top favorite. And for project number three, I'm going to be using these white glass bowls from the Dollar Tree. 
and some E6000 glue and hot glue. And I'm simply going to turn this into one bowl by adhering both bottoms to each other. Using this E6000, this is going to make sure it's completely sturdy and dry secure. And the hot glue is just to have that extra precaution until the E6000 glue completely dries. And I'm just going to add some heavy plates to the top as it dries. This is what it looks like. You have the option to spray paint it whatever color you like. Just try to keep the spray paint only on the outside and not where the food goes. And to add a bit more detail, I'm going to be using this nautical white rope. This I already had in my stash, but Dollar Tree does also carry this as well. To make it a less bit bulky, I'm going to completely unravel and untwine this and recreate my own braid using one strand. And I'm going to split that strand into three separate strands to create my braid. Once I ended that, I'm going to add a knot to the bottom so that way it's knots on each end of the braided rope. And I'm just going to trim and cut the tassels at the end. I'm going to use this cat brush to detangle those strands. And this is my rope once it's braided with the knots on the end. And this is just going to wrap around those bowls to add a bit boho detail. I'm also going to add some wooden bees and hot glue these to the front right on top of the tassel just to give again a bit more boho detail and I really think this finishes off these raised bowls. This definitely is an upscale to your cat's food in water bowls, it just looks a lot more sophisticated. Now Dollar Tree also carries these pet mats for your food bowls to sit on top of and it's very cute. It has these raised paw prints and the back is just a little bit too slippery so I have a hack for that. But first I'm going to use that same nautical rope from before and just hot glue along the perimeter of this mat. This way, Cleo will not be able to tip these bowls over. If he tries to slide them, they're just going to hit the rope. Comment below if your cats also have the bad habit of splashing water everywhere and trying to tip their food bowls over. Now to prevent this from slipping on the kitchen floor, I am going to add this rug gripper to the bottom. This is found at Dollar Tree as well. And I'm just going to cut it to size and hot glue it to the bottom of this mat.
thank you guys so much for watching if you like this cat video please comment down below if you want to see more also give it a big thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you next time